Hello guys, so in this short video I want to talk about the definitions of the topology and in particular I want to discuss uh, the third uh, property. And the third property says the following. If we're going to consider some AIs in our topology and remember like uh, we assume that we're going to take uh, a topological space X with a topology um, how it's called like tilde with a topology uh, tau and uh, for the third property we have that we need to take only finally many AIs and then from there we can conclude that a finite intersection of AIs is going to belong to our topology so the question that we are going to impose why uh, we are allowed to take only finally many elements of our topology intersect them. Or in other words, we can ask why i runs uh, between 1 and n, where n is some natural number. So to answer this question, uh, what do we need to show? We need to show some counterexample. So we need to consider some topological space and choose for the topological space uh, some open sets AIs and we're going to take them countably many and then we're going to show that for those countably many elements their uh, like intersection is not going to be in our topology. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider the, the most famous and standard topological space. I'm going to take uh, my uh, set to be a set of real numbers and my topology I'm going to take the standard topology. So what do you mean by standard topology? That means if I'm going to have a real line, I talk about the base before, so we can say like in terms of base, the topology, if I'm going to choose like any point is going to be generated by like open intervals, or is the topology like from real analysis that we know, so like, like, uh, like our open sets are going to be uh, sets that for every point you can find some neighborhood around it. So let me sketch a picture probably. So if you're going to take some set A, then for that set A, I'm going to take a point uh, like small a, and then on the small a, I can find some u such that uh, u belongs to a. Okay, so let's choose the collection AIs for this case. And uh, AI is going to be equal to 0, um, 1 plus 1 over i. And I'm going to run my i. Uh, through natural numbers, so it's going to be 1, 2, n, and etc. Okay, so let's see what I'm going to get. If we going to take the finite inter intersection, so let's intersect uh, when i runs from 1 to n, a, i, then you can see that in this case I'm going to have uh, that, that uh, the intersection is going to be equal the open interval from 0, to 1 plus 1 over n. And the reason is why, because uh, if you're going to sketch this and kind of do geometric proof, you can see that a1 is going to go from 0 to 2, uh, as we have uh, 1 plus 1 over i, when i is equal to 1, it's going to be equal to 1 plus 1, so it's 2. And then, then this is going to be my a1, and a2 is going to be smaller, and a2 is going to be actually to go between 0 and 3 over 2. And you can see when i is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, then ai is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And if we're going to, and the, the next ai is going to be completely included in the previous ais. And you can see when my ai is going to be get smaller and smaller and smaller, then intersection of the all uh, ais is going to be the last uh, element ai. Uh, if you have any questions about that, that, please let me know and I can just answer in the comments. Okay, but what is going to happen if I'm going to send my n to infinity? And the trick, and the thing is going to get slightly tricky. You can see when they, when we're going to send n to infinity, then this thing is going to be, uh, is going to go to zero. And then we can see that one is going to be included in every AIs. So I'm going to make this as a claim. And I strongly recommend you to check this on your own. The intersection uh, of AIs when i goes from 1 to infinity is going to be equal to a half open interval between 0 and 1. And for example, uh, to show that these two sets are the same, I'm just going to give you a hint in the first steps. I want to show that uh, 
let's say right, right hand side is going to be a subset of left hand side so in other words uh, the intersection of uh, of AIs is going to contain uh, the half open interval zero and one and also we want to show that left hand side is going to be inside the right hand side so another intersection of AIs is going to be included in zero one so please check this on your own but the idea here is right now let's to finish because remember, our question is why we take only finite i. You can see that if you're going to take infinitely many AIs, then intersection is going to be half open interval. And half open interval is not open in topology standard. And the reason why it's not open, because if you're going to take a point um, one, then doesn't matter like what neighborhood you're going to take about around that point. If I'm going to take neighborhood and make it smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, that neighborhood is never is going. Let's call that neighborhood like UI for example. Then UI is never is going to be a subset of, of zero one, as we always can find the point on the right which is going to be outside. So that means that if I'm going to take the countable intersection of my uh, open sets then uh, that intersection is not always going to be open. Okay, and this is the only things that I want to talk about in this video. Please let me ha uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I'm trying to grow my channel, so please uh, feel free to share this video with your friends and with people that we're going to get more subscribers and then I can make more topology videos. Okay, uh, have a nice day and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.